Hi, I'm Aaron MacDonald. I'm a UCLan uh, sport coaching student. I'm here to demonstrate golf to you. Yeah, so a golf course has 18 holes. Um, you have a par three, a par four, and a par five. And on these holes, that's how many shots you have to do it in. So if it says it's a par five, you want to do it in five shots. But if you go over that, say you got six shots, then that would be one over par. And you want to try and be as close to the par as um, you can be. So after the 18 holes, all these pars will be added up and you'll probably get a par of about 72 for the whole course. Um, and then you want to try and get as close to that as you can. You're officially allowed 14 clubs in your bag. Um, the biggest club in your bag is your driver. Um, this is the biggest head. Um, and the reason it's um, the biggest is because it will hit the ball the furthest. So on the head, this is a very low degree um, angle. So this will create the ball to go very low, uh, but very far in the air. So this is the biggest club and the hardest one to hit in your bag. The next lot um, will be your irons. Um, these range from the three iron to normally a like a pitcher measure or a nine iron in the set. Um, the three iron is the biggest one um, and the lowest degree angle again. So this one will go very uh, far but not as far as the driver. But then as you get down to the eight and nine iron, these are angled a bit differently, a bit wider open. Um, this will create the height and the more accuracy for getting onto that pin and getting as close as you can to the pin. But if you do miss the pin with your irons, um, the closer you get to the green you want to be using a wedge. The wedge is a very high angle. This will get the, a lot of loft on the ball, but not much distance, but it creates a lot of accuracy for your ball. Um, you also cut across the uh, ground with it, so it's very easy to kind of get under the ball and get it up in the air for accuracy. And once you get onto the green, um, you'll be using your putter. Now this is the smallest club in the bag, and um, the angle um, and degree of the face is really low to keep the ball steady on the ground, and this will um, allow you to really accurately put a ball into that hole to finish off the hole and get the best score you can. Basic clothing is having the right shoes and uh, right kind of trousers and stuff to wear. You got to kind of look smart on a golf course. Um, so starting with the top, you have to wear sort of a collar top, which I did put on, but um, don't have to on a drum range. Uh, but it's just to show kind of smartness on the course. And then trousers wise, you want to wear just kind of um, chinos or something like that, nice like cream or black coloured um, trousers um, and then waterproofs on top if it's cold. And then on your feet you want to wear um, proper golf shoes that have spikes on them. It's just to protect the golf course when you're out there and to also like stop you from slipping over. Um, I got into golf because um, a lot of my family played, so my dad played when he was about my age and then my granddad also uh, played and then when he died I just fancied just taking it up and just seeing why he was just such an like, emphatic golfer sort of thing. I tend to play when I'm home as much as I can, so I played every Saturday having golfing lessons, um, but then being at uni I haven't played as much as I'd like, but I'm looking at getting like, back into it and playing pretty much every week again and improving as much as I can. Uh, my handicap at the moment is nine. The handicap is um, how much over the power of the course you are, so if it is a par 70 course, then I will probably play on average seven, um, nine shots over that part. So I'll probably shoot on average about 79 every time I go around.